Hey guys, I'm Emily from The Blue Mouse, and today I'm going to show you how to create this lace stitch. So it's a very simple looking lace pattern, but it just adds a little bit of texture to whatever you're making. And this is a four row repeat, and you're just going to cast on a multiple of three stitches. All right, so for the first row, now you want to do this on the right side of your work. All right, so you're gonna start out with a knit one, and then you get into your repeat for the row. So you start out with a yarn over. You just bring the yarn from underneath the needle and over it to the back, like this. And then you're going to slip one as if to purl and knit two. And then you take your left hand needle into that slipped stitch and bring it over those two knit stitches and then you pull it off. So you get this kind of loop here in the front and that is your repeat. You just keep doing that until you have two stitches left on your row. So I'll show that to you again. Bring the yarn over your needle, slip a stitch as if to purl, knit two stitches, and then bring your left hand needle into the slip stitch on your right hand needle. Pull it over those two knit stitches and off. So again, yarn over, slip one as if to purl, knit two, insert your needle into that slip stitch, which should be the third from the end. Pull it over those two knit stitches and off. All right, I just did my last repeat, and now I have two stitches left on my needle. So I find it's easy to remember that if I start the row with a knit stitch, then I end the row with a knit two. So you just knit the last two stitches. You're done with your first row. You can turn your work, and you're just going to purl every stitch across. And because whenever you yarn over, you also what's called PSSO, or pass the slip stitch over, which is a decrease, you should have the same amount of stitches that you started with. So I started with 30 stitches, and now I still have 30 stitches. I'm just going to purl this next row, and then we'll get to our second lace repeat row. So I've finished my purl row. I'm just going to turn my work to the right side again. So for the second lace row, you're going to start out with a yarn over instead of a knit one. So it probably feels a little bit weird to start a row with a yarn over, but it's really simple. You just place the yarn over your needle to create this loop, and then you're going to slip one as if to purl. So I like to hold the yarn over with my finger to keep it in place. Slip one and I keep it there as I knit the next two stitches. All right, now you're going to go into the second stitch on the row, which was your slipped stitch. And you're going to pull it over those two knit stitches and off your needle. So basically what you did is the lace repeat, but you just start the row off with that instead of a knit stitch. So you've already done one of your lace repeats and you're just going to do that throughout the rest of the row. So again, yarn over, slip one as if to purl, knit two, take that slip stitch and pass it over your two knit stitches and off, yarn over, slip one as if to purl, knit two, into that slip stitch, pass it over your two knit stitches, and that's it. You just repeat that to the end of your row. Unlike the first row, you're going to complete this for every stitch. Instead of having two at the end, you'll finish with a lace repeat. You shouldn't have any stitches left over at the end of your row. All right, so I've got three stitches left. I'm just going to do one final lace repeat. Yarn over, slip one as if to purl, knit two, and you're not done because you have to pass that slip stitch over. 
and off. Then you're just going to turn your work and purl across. And those are your four repeats. So you just repeat those four rows until you have your desired length and you're all set. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more tutorial videos on stitches, um, techniques such as brioche, and just general tips. So if you are interested in any of that, you can subscribe for more. And you can find my patterns online. I'll link it in the description if you're interested.